In this video, I'll be talking about the factorial. So, what is factorial? You can simply say factorial is a function that multiplies a number by every number below the below it till one exactly. Suppose you are given a number, an integer, which is let's say you are given uh, four, right? Four. What are the number below four? You know, four. The number below four are actually that's theory two and one right then let me just simply introduce a multiple sign at the middle of each integer so here we have four multiply three multiply two multiply one that should give us multiply three multiply two and multiply one that should give us 24 right so here we have it was to be 24 right so in this case this actually means that if i'm asked to find four factorial 4 factorial is equal to what? 24. So what it means is that a factorial is the sum of all, all the, or, or let me just say, of all the multiple of number that are below this 4. Now, this, what are the number that are below 4? We have it to be 3, 2, and 1. So the sum of the multiple of all the number that are below what? That are below or equal to what? The integer itself is known as factorial. Right? So, in a simple form, you can just say a factorial is a function that multiplies a number by every number below it till 1. Now, let's say you are asked to find the value of 6 factorial. You are given 6 factorial and you are asked to find the value of 6 factorial. It's very simple. What you just have to do is that you have to, what, to write out the, the number that are below 6, which are 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then the next case is that you are going to introduce multiple sign. Right? Let's introduce multiple sign here. Right? So in this case now, our 6 factorial it will be equal to what? The sum of the multiple of this. That's actually 6 multiply 5, right? Multiply 4. Then also multiply 3, multiply 2, multiply 1. That should give us 720. Exactly. So this is actually 720. Exactly. So 6 factorial is equals to 720. Now suppose you are asked to find to, uh, to find the value of 15 factorial, right? Divided by what? 12 factorial. So in this case, it's very simple. What you just have to do is that you can simply you know 15 factorial is actually let me just say this is 15, right? Then multiply by what? Multiply by 14, multiply by 13, right? Multiply by 12, multiply by 11, multiply it by 10, then all to the one, right? Then you are dividing it by what? By 12 factorial, which is 12, multiply by what? 11, multiply by 10, multiply by uh, 9, all to the one, right? Exactly. So what happened in this case is that, instead of it writing all this long time, instead of it using all this long time, now, you can see that you are asked what, to divide 50 factorial by 12 factorial, and exactly from this stage, of t1 is what 12 factorial then you want to divide out by this which means you can simply what you can simply cancel out everything here with everything here then you are left with what with 15 multiply what 14 multiply what 13 which simply equals what that's 2730 exactly so the short form is that instead of you wasting time you can just simply say 50 factorial divided by 12 factorial equal 15 multiplied by 14 multiplied by 13 multiplied by 12 factorial once you put factorial here that means you are not going to repeat all the numbers that are below 12 then divided by what 12 factorial simply this you cancel this then what are you left with you are left with 15 multiplied by 14 multiplied by what 13 which simply means what which is simply 7 2730 exactly so that's just it so now let's say you are asked to evaluate one more question here. Let's say you are given 5 factorial, right? Divided by what? 5 minus 2 factorial, right? Then you are given again, you are having 2 factorial. It's very simple. What you just have to do is that you have to evaluate the one in the bracket first. So here you are going to have the word 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 is actually 3. Then this is factorial. That's 3 factorial, 2 factorial. So, what you are going to do now is that, you know, this is 3 factorial and this is 2 factorial. You can just go ahead and say, 
This is 5 multiplied by 4, right? Multiplied by 3 factorial, divided by what? 3 factorial, 2 factorial. So in this situation, this 3 factorial can just cancel this 3 factorial. Then you are going to have 5 multiplied by 4, which is what? 20 divided by what? 2 factorial, right? Whereas 2 factorial is actually 20 divided by what? 2 multiplied by 1, right? That's just it, which means it, the answer is simply what? 10. So this is the answer. So what we are going to do now is that I think that's all for today, but let me just solve one more question for you guys. Suppose you are asked to find 8 to evaluate 8 into brackets, that's 4 factorial, right? So in this case, it's very simple. Here you are going to add what 8. If this is not factorial, this is just a single integer. So here you are going to add what 4 multiplied by what 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. Exactly. So here you are going to add what 8 into brackets, 4 multiplied by 3, 4 multiplied by 3. Multiply by 2, multiply by 1 is actually 24, right? So you are going to have 8 multiply by 24. That is 8 multiply by 24 should be worth 192, right? So that's just it. So what I want you guys to understand here is that now let's say you are giving 4 as the case may be 4, right? You are giving 4. Now suppose we represent for all integer, for all integer value, all number, let's say we say let's n equals to 4. This n represents the number, the all integer that we have, right? n equals to 4. Now, what are the numbers that are below 4? We know 3 is below 4, 2 is below 4, and 1 is below 4, right? Then let's introduce our multiple sign here. Multiple sign, multiple sign. So what you guys will notice here is that 4 is greater than 3 by just exactly 1. 3 is greater than what? And than 2 by what? By 1. 2 is greater than, by, greater than 1 by what? By Exactly the same thing as us. one. It shows that here in this case, what happens is that the each, each number here decreases by what by value of one. So you can just say if n equals to four, just only four, then n factorial will be equal to now. Listen, this is four. We have n right, which is our four exactly. Then after that, multiply by four minus one. That's what. TD. That means I'm going to have n minus 1, right? Then followed by what? By 4 minus 2. That's what? Exactly 2. So now what I'm going to do is that this will be n minus 2. Then what's one going to be? That's exactly n minus 3 and so on. Exactly. That's how it will be. So this here that you're looking at is, is actually the general formula. Let me just say general expression for factorial. Remember you have n factorial is equivalent to, to everything here. Exactly. So if you find this video helpful, please and please don't forget to click on the notification button and click on the notification button as well so that you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Thanks for watching.